Hi, this is artist and illustrator Bernard Garcia. I'll be presenting a quick approach to sketching a kitchen still life scene. This is the scene here. I chose it from my mom's kitchen. And this will be the final piece that I'll be completing in this quick uh, slideshow. First, I want to talk about how I discover a still life scene. I say discover because I'm not going to set up a scene. I'm not going to make a traditional scene of fruits and vegetables. I'm going to walk through my mom's kitchen and um, see what um, compositions mom naturally created there. Um, here's a couple good ones um, that I photographed and I just like that that um, that feeling, that natural kitchen feel that it has. So what I'll do is I'll take out a couple couple elements and um, I'll pick one. And I finally decided to go with this uh, scene. It has the tea kettle, the pot with the utensils, the stove top, the butter dish, and the tile. I really like this one. Before I begin the drawing, I want to first cover the art supplies I use. I like using Strathmore drawing paper and this uh, masonite clipboard and this um, this like industrial orange clip you see there. I like uh, Strathmore drawing paper because of its thickness and its tooth. It really uh, works well with uh, with the pencils I use. It's the 400 series and it is the it, it's uh, it's 80 pounds. It has 24 sheets, and compared to other pads, uh, you can find that it's pricey. Here is the the setup. It's the masonite board with the paper, both clips. I set the clip to the right side because I'm left-handed, so it doesn't get in the way. I'm not too thrilled about this clip on this masonite board. Um, I don't like it, but 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 it works. I've seen better. This clip, though, I really like. You can buy these at most hardware stores. Um, they're just they're really strong and they hold well. Um, I like using uh, the Sanford Design Ebony Pencils. Um, that's just been my choice for a while now. Uh, here's it's, it's a Design Ebony and it says Jet Black Extra Smooth 14420. Um, when they get short on me, I put a little tape on them and I use this uh, pencil extender. The tape help, helps it fit snug in the pencil extender. And I have about a dozen of these in a little box, all sharpened, and I just keep running through them. As they get dull, I just grab another clean, uh, sharpened one. And yes, it's very important for me to have a sharp tip on my pencils. Uh, as soon as it gets dull, I, gr I reach for a new one. And I use the Boston Powerhouse uh, sharpeners. These are, I consider, I think are the best. Um, they, uh, they've lasted me a long time, and I get nice, sharp pencils. Now I'm ready to begin my sketch or drawing. I have my batch of sharp pencils beside me. I'm set up in front of the scene with my clipboard and drawing pad. And I have the silver clip on the right side so that it doesn't bother me while I'm drawing. First I begin with a quick gesture drawing of the scene. I want to make sure I get the whole composition in with light lines. After the gesture drawing, I'll grab another sharp pencil and begin slowly adding detail to the drawing. Um, I'll walk away from the drawing and then come back again with another sharp pencil, slowly building up the, the tone, the shading, and the line work. Here's a close-up of the burner section. You can, so you can see the gesture drawing underneath and, um, and uh, the building up of the contrast. Here is a close-up of the top of the tea kettle. And again, I'll grab another sharp pencil and um, probably here on the utensils, start adding more detail, tone, and, and more, more line work. After a while, I'll use a, this white piece of paper underneath my hand so that I don't smudge the drawing. And it allows me to continue adding contrast and shading. And now I'm near completion. Uh, at some point I want to stop early. I don't want to overwork the drawing. I uh, want it to have that fresh sketch look. So I'll sign it and, and stop. Here is the final piece. I, I do come back to it the next day and work on it a, a little bit. I'll um, add some more tone and some more line work just so that it, it looks better. But not too much because I don't want to overwork it. So we went from the scene that I found in my mom's kitchen to this final sketch which I think is at a great stage for a study or 
for the beginning of a painting. Thank you for viewing this slideshow on how I create a kitchen still life scene. To, to view more samples of my work, please visit bernardgarcia.net. It contains samples I created for commercial use. And if you want a custom made portrait in my style of yourself or your pet, a uh, loved one, car, plane, motorhome, anything really, um, feel free to make the order on my website or email me. Thank you.